in this video we will be talking about the medical ethics before going to the medical ethics you have to rule out the meaning of that so before that you have to know the meaning of the ethics ethics means moral values that means if you are doing good to the patient or else if we take in this real world if you are doing good things so everyone will say this person is having good moral values and if you are doing bad they will say this person is having very bad moral values okay everything for everything they will show impact on the moral values and you have to understand what is right and what is wrong this is all about the ethics so when it comes to medical ethics everything that is related to the medical terminology for example if we take any medical practitioner or healthcare professionals their ethics should be very clean and clear and transparent with the patients so if a doctor behaves very well with the patient the patient may get interact to the doctor and he will address his problem nicely that means carefully if he is if the doctor is rude with the patient will they come to the clinic again no they won't come so that shows bad impact on your clinic okay everything doctor's behavior while doing the procedure doctor's behavior the patient attendance everything matters in the medical ethics so good behavior shows your good ethical terms so that is what medical ethics so goals of medical ethics that means you sh if you are perfect in creating a good ethic you have to perform all these things you should be very clear with all these points first of all if any patient is coming to your clinic you have to greet the patient at least try to give the smile or say namaste bhaiya something you have to be polite to the patient if you ask rudely what is your problem will they answer properly no they won't address their problem properly so main thing is the doctors should have good listening skills what happens is in some cases the medical practitioners they won't listen to the patient problem they'll write whatever they want and they'll go you have to listen carefully and properly while taking the history and after listening you should understand the problem and you have to analyze the problem and you should try to relieve the problem by giving some best medicines after that you should give some suggestions or advices about the health education you have to be very careful with the goals of the medical ethics and again we have some principles of medical ethics that means autonomy beneficence confidentiality do not harm non maleficence equity or justice if we talk about the autonomy in the name itself it is showing self that means it is totally dependent on the patient opinion for example if you are performing any procedure on patient you have to explain in detail about the procedure and also we have to explain timings advantages disadvantages anything everything you have to explain if he is ready to take that procedure only you have to perform and at last you have to say whether are you ready to take this procedure definitely you are going to ask this question if they are ready with this procedure you should perform if they are not ready you have to give the alternative treatment so this is very important autonomy refers to patient's preference okay next is the benefits benefits means while doing the procedure you have to say the benefits of the procedure okay that is very important confidentiality that means with surety you have to give the confidentiality that means if you are performing lasik surgery that means eye procedure after explaining if the patient is okay you will perform the eye surgery and you have to give the confidentiality or the surety that the patient may definitely get his sight back and one more thing no need to use of any spectacles this is the surety i am giving confidentiality means so while taking the history you will take the information by the patient 
that means id number phone number everything that should be confidential with you we should not share those things with anyone do not harm that means you should not show any negligence during the procedures that may harm the patient equity that means every patient in our clinic are equal for every patient you have to show the same interest and equity that is the principles of the medical ethics so autonomy that's what i said this is totally dependent on the patient we have to ask for the patient opinion if you are performing any procedure on them and in beneficence you have to say the benefits of the procedure that we are doing on the patient and confidentiality means that means loyalty and trust if they are giving any their personal information you should not share those information with anyone and next non malfeasance means we should not neglect and after negligence definitely we are going to harm the patient so don't show any negligence so that's what negligence next is justice justice or equity that means every patient are equal and you have to give the accuracy of the procedures rational drug therapy means in simple terms if you ask me i'll say with prescription that means in rational drug therapy what happens is if you are having any problem you directly go to the doctor and doctor may prescribe some medicines so that you will use the medicines so now we are having proof that is the evidence that the doctor has given some medicine so you are taking whereas in irrational drug therapy what happens means you are not going to the doctor you yourself going to the pharmacy and you will ask whatever the medicine you want you will take that doesn't work again you will get the side effects and after that you will go to the doctor now you don't have any evidence that the doctor has prescribed you the medicines so the difference is prescribed in rational drug therapy here there is no prescription you yourself are going the information is inappropriate and unsafe that's all about the medical ethics okay it's very easy